Hey, what's up, guys? I've been waiting for almost a week now, and I could not wait any longer. It's been raining. It is still raining today. So, right now, I'm just waiting for the number of satellites. It's currently at... Let's see. I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see. Um... I don't know if you can see it, guys. I can't see it. It's 10. Okay, and that's good. I can arm it right now. So, yeah, I I, I actually applied, applied Corrosion X on every um, electrical connection. So that way, if it gets, if water gets into it, it won't actually short them. All right, guys, let's fly now, even if the visibility is so crappy. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, I have no idea if if I'll be able to see anything or not. We'll see. I don't know. All right, later. Hey guys, what's up? I just want to share my thoughts about Betaflight 4.4.0 RC1 release candidate one. So I flashed it last night, um, hoping um, GPS rescue would actually perform really well. Uh, I was told in 
one of my YouTube was it YouTube or Instagram? It doesn't matter. They said that the GPS rescue actually works really well in Betaflight 404. So I tried it and I flashed this. Had some minor issues flashing yesterday. I forgot to add like the features and I was not used to that. It's a different version of Betaflight Configurator. Uh, where you had to specify like the features that you want and when I configured it the GPS wasn't actually being activated but anyways I, I was able to uh, successfully flash it so today um, I went out even if it was raining or snowing uh, I still flew this and I'm glad it didn't actually disarm or fail safe and I I know this is off topic, so I had to use this corrosion X and I applied it on the ESC as well as the flight controllers and specifically on the connectors. Yeah, this worked really well. And then also, just want to really quickly mention, this helped a lot. Um, it's a two layer of styrofoam and then lastly a silver like tape. Okay, anyways, going back here. So I flew it today, uh, I armed it like when there was a 14 satellite on the OSD, 14 satellites. It first started with 4, and then 7, and then 10, and then 14. And the uh, GPS module that I'm using is BN-880. It is very sensitive. Anyways, I armed it at 14 satellites. And then I started flying it and when I saw like 500 meters away from me that's the time I triggered the uh, how do you call this the GPS fresco switch and yeah it was facing backwards away from me like this right when I triggered it everyone knows so when I triggered the switch it became angled it, I, you can see it in the video, or you saw it in the video. It angled, and then it turned right, maybe 45 to 90 degrees, and then it pitched forward again and started moving. Started moving towards the towards west, or, yeah, going to the right, and towards the houses. And I was like, why is it doing it that way while, while it should actually face me? Like in 4.3.2, it actually faced me. Uh, but it started like drifting away from me. So I don't know. Um, I had to regain control because if I didn't, it might have, um, it might have, um, it might have flown through the houses or trees and I was scared that I might not be able to uh, regain control. So yeah, I don't know if something is missing on my configuration. All I did was is enable the GPS module and then went to the fail safe tab and set the minimum number of of satellites to eight. I think the default is eight. Yeah, I remember it was eight. And then what else did I do? Uh, I checked the minimum number of satellites. I think it was 100 meters away. So definitely the 500 meters away was actually correct. Yeah, I don't know guys, so I'm kind of worried flying this in the mountains and diving it. Although, um, yeah, I don't know why. Um, what do you think guys? What am I missing? And I don't know, so hopefully I'll get this, I'll get the GPS properly working soon because I'm going to the Philippines and I'd like to use this, this to cruise over like the nature nature places there and I don't want to lose this and this is my new 7 inch quad alrighty guys thank you for for hopping thank you for watching this video video and please like and subscribe thank you